Hi, it's September 1st. I'm gonna read this one. My glasses right here, my little bedside table. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 5, 3. A clothing store advertised a going out of business sale and it really was closing its doors. The bargains were tremendous. One On the morning of the sale, hundreds of people lined up waiting to get in. They watched in disbelief as a man walked past the entire line and started crowding in at the, the head. He was promptly sent to the rear by angry and impatient shoppers. As he stood at the end of the line, he said, I'm going to try once more, and if they do that to me again, I'm not going to unlock the, do the store. <laughs> the last thing this timid store owner demonstrated was the meaning of the poor in spirit. What Jesus had in mind was being poor in a sense of being impoverished. Those who knew who know they are poverty-stricken without God will inherit the kingdom. Those who do not presume to possess much of God's kingdom can have it all. Letting God is letting go of any idea that we are self-sufficient. Our blessedness depends on our dependency. When we acknowledge that apart from God, we are spiritually bankrupt and we are empty before him, we can truly Fulfilled, fulfilled, filled, full with the riches of God. We can be truly fulfilled, filled, full with the riches of God. It is no shame to admit that we are powerless over our addiction, that our lives have become unmanageable. That is the first step to faith and to recovery. We are poor, but our higher power, whose name is Jesus, has all the riches we ever need. Lord, please help me to acknowledge my poverty and need for your spiritual welfare program. Teach me not to be poor, but proud, but poor in spirit. Amen. Well, I got a P.O. box today, so I'm going to put it in, on my About page, but if you want to write to Redheaded Writing Hood or send me something, it's P.O. Box 630192. Highlands Ranch, Colorado, 80163. I will put it below, and I will put it on my About page. And I'll put it on my Facebook, Redheaded Riding Hood Facebook page. So, did you know, if you Google Redheaded Riding Hood, my web page comes up, and all my pages on social media. That's what I am on all social media. I also have a personal page, which is, my name is not Susan. <laughs> Susan Hewitt Story. Something I forgot to show you when I was showing you things. This is the one thing I saved that my dad made. Um, it has my name on it. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> so, um, I left the wood things that my dad made and um, even I debated on, he made this beautiful, um, he made a lot of them all for Christmas. A nativity that used to play music I, I sent it back to my ex because he had for years said he was going to put a new music box in it. So 
yeah, put a new music box in it for the kids. Um, but he made trucks and puzzles and um, all sorts of wood things. And um, I put them uh, in a big box in the storage um, that I gave to my daughter. So I don't, I, I told her to, to just, you could sort them out, you know, and they could go through, you know, what they wanted at their dad's because he has all that space. <laughs> So, yeah, but he made a lot of um, neat things out of wood, but, um, you know, while I was living in the RV, I, you know, I, I downsized a lot. So that was the one thing I saved. I'm like, this will fit in my RV. <laughs> and, um, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I downsized. It was, um, it was a great experience. It was very... It felt very wonderful to downsize, but it feels fun now to buy new, um, new stuff. <laughs> so I'm having fun doing that. So yeah, thanks dad. <laughs> um, I went to, uh, I went back to the furniture store today and I ordered, a, um, it's coming on Sunday, a TV stand that has a fireplace on it. So I want a fireplace for the winter so I can sit in front of my TV and my fire <laughs> while it's snowing outside and uh, yeah, be nice. But anyways, keep praying, y'all. Don't ever stop praying because God's listening. Pray for Red. Red will pray for you. Love you. Bye.